Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your Friday morning market report with Matt at Currency Index. Uh, many of you would have seen in the news that all eyes were focused yesterday on the ECB announcement. Um, you probably would have seen, if, if you've uh, watched the news in the last 24 hours, that there was a shock interest rate cut. Um, they cut interest rates from uh, 0.25 down to 0.15%, but perhaps more interestingly, the bank deposit rate was cut from zero down to a negative 0.1%. It is the first time in history that any bank has introduced a negative interest rate and to some extent, as Draghi even mentioned in his speech himself, um, the effects are as, as such unknown um, at this point. We did see uh, the, the pound gain around a cent in the, against the euro whilst the speech was going on, however that was almost immediately eroded by the time Draghi finished speaking and we were left where we started. So uh, any of you with euro requirements, there is somewhat of a concern that it, it's pretty much the best it's going to be. As we say, it's uncharted territory now, um, and we didn't see any gains made by the pound yesterday against the single currency. Um, so many of you may like to consider perhaps a forward contract or certainly speaking to your broker today um, in the fear that it may continue to drop. Uh, across the pond, the US dollar still remains weak against the pound. However, it is benefiting from the weak euro. It's gained almost two cents in the last week. Um, so it certainly seems in the short term, the pound is the strongest of the three majors. Um, interestingly, with the euro being the weakest, um, indeed, bear that in mind, with the euro being the weakest of the three, um, the rates still haven't pushed past the two-year high we're currently sat at. So if any of you have uh, particularly property purchases coming up or um, large currency requirements, give us a call today for some friendly and professional advice on how to make the most out of your transfer. Mm -hmm.